The Green Hornet. He hunts the biggest of all game, public enemies that even the G-men cannot reach. The Green Hornet. Faithful valet Cato, Brett Reed, daring young publisher, matches wits with the underworld, risking his life that criminals and racketeers within the law may feel its weight by the sting of the Green Hornet. Ride with Brett Reed as he races toward another thrilling adventure. The Green Hornet strikes again. Hurry, Cato, we're out to smash a parking lot racket. I want 10% from every parking lot in the city, understand? We're getting them lined up fast, Bleacher. You gotta make it faster. Get out and start collecting that dough. I want more money coming in. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 70. Where's that dough, Carson? I'm not paying any money for racket chiselers like you. We'll be back to persuade you. Let go! They won't listen to reason. Smash a couple of the cars. Throw a couple of bombs. Start a few fires. They'll lay it on the line. 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 90. There's a parking lot. Toss that bomb. Here she goes. A bomb? Wreck the cars. It's them racketeers. 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 700, 800. Some blasted rat's going to slash all the tires in the lot. That paid plenty for this. Morning, Blake. How's your parking lot going? Huh? What's you believe? Ten percent, Blake. Pay it and you won't run into grief with your parked cars. All right, you got me. I'll pay. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Forty-five hundred. Five thousand. Pay up. Pay for protection. Wreck cars. You're ruining my business. Ten percent or I'll... Okay, I'll pay. You win. Go for the racket. Kick in. Ten percent. Here you are. Don't smash any more cars. I'll pay. Hand the dough over. Here's the money. <laughs> there we got to wind up. Count the money, mate. Nineteen thousand. Twenty thousand. Look at it. Pile up. Look at it. Pile up. <laughs> Golly, these we must have driven downtown early. Why, Axford? No earlier than usual. But then, holy crow, at first the parking lot so empty. You don't think to... Say, Reed, today and Sunday, is it? Don't tell me we made a mistake and come down to the Sentinel on Sunday. Why not? The Sentinel's a daily paper. There are plenty down on Sunday. Yes, but so for the snakes, I never come down on... <laughs> Relax, Axford, it's not Sunday. But look at there ain't hardly six cars in the parking lot. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Reed. Hello, Schaefer. What do you wear the long face for, Schaefer? You're looking like a candidate for the mark with the other cadavers. You better go to that parking lot across the street, Mr. Reed. Why? I uh, can't handle you here. Suffering snakes, what's he trying to do? Don't you like us? Or maybe Reed Sedan ain't good enough for your parking lot, giving us the cold shoulder. Shut up, Axford. Can't you see something's wrong? Huh? Oh, golly, is there? Why can't we park here, Schaefer? There's plenty of room. Yeah, after all the accidents I've been having. Yeah, we've heard about them at the Sentinel. So the city. They may take away my parking lot license. Golly. The insurance company has already turned me down as a bad risk. So since you're a particular customer of mine, you'd be better off at another parking lot. Your license hasn't been revoked yet, has it? Not yet. I have my own insurance on the car. Hey, Reed, where are you going? Get out, Axford. We're parking the car here. Uh, Mr. Reed, I... Car's yours, Schaefer. 
I'll call for it at the end of the day. Suppose something happens. What about these other guys? Well, I told them the same thing, but, but no... But they wouldn't listen, huh? Well, put me down as the same kind of sucker, then, Schaefer. Well, this is swell of you, Mr. Reed. You see, I... Schaefer, I know something about those, uh, those accidents. God, it is the way you say it. You don't mean accidents. I don't. You've heard of Bleaker. You mean the racket he is? He's behind your trouble, isn't he, Schaefer? I won't pay that dirty rat one red cent. Uh, I thought that was it. Ten percent he wants for protection. Yeah. Protection. Holy crow, why don't you tell the police? I've told everyone. What good does it do me? No, don't tell me he's brave in the police. Of course not, Axford, but Bleak, you're smart. That's it. Everybody knows he's pulling the racket. But how can you stop it when you can't get proof that it's his gorillas who go around smashing cars and cutting up the tires in parking lots? You've heard that happen? Oh, everything. And still you refuse to knuckle under? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I ought to pay the 10%. Yeah, you've fought them this far. Why lose your fight now? I wouldn't mind if it was fight so long as it was a fair fight. But them rats work in the dark. And the police can do nothing, huh? Not a thing. I see. Mm-hmm. Hey, Reed. What are you daydreaming about? Daydreaming? You had a kind of faraway look in your eye. Like you was up to something. Only just when I was getting me brain around to figuring out what, you lost that faraway look. And golly, now I can't tell. <laughs> You'll just have to wait till that look comes back. Ah, you got something up your sleeve, I know it. Just as well you're not a mind reader, actually. Huh? There are times when I like to keep my thoughts to myself. And this is definitely one of them. Letters, letters, and more letters. How do you bake a chicken pie? (laughs) Is barbecued beef made in barber shops? Gunnigan, if you keep grinning at me, I swear I'll get the screaming memes. <laughs> Don't you like my always, Miss Gates? No, but even less do I like handling this cooking advice for the homebody column. It's only for one day. Somebody had to take Miss Topper's place. Oh, good grief. Why does Mr. Reed have to pick this one day to be out of the office? It leaves me with so little work on my desk that I just couldn't excuse myself from this. Casey, why don't you take those letters back where they belong? I like it better here. This is the city editor's cubbyhole. My cubbyhole. Hmm. It could do with a good cleaning. Don't go domestic on me. Why not? I'm reading very domestic letters. Miss Topper's desk is out in the city room. See? Through the glass. Out there. It's too drafty. I like it better here. Or did I say that? You did. Well, here's a typewritten letter. Most of them are in longhand. All right. One housewife can have a typewriter. No law against it. Well, let's see what recipe she wants. Go ahead, Casey, but never mind the talk. Okay, I won't bother you. Casey, what's the idea of knocking the typewriter table over? If that's your substitute for talk, uh, you... Gunnigan, this, this letter... What's the matter with you? Why, it's from a man. Not a woman, a man. So what? Men are interested in cooking? R- read it. Go ahead. Listen, I have a front page makeup to schedule. Read it. Does it say what I think it does? In cooking up a stew about... Oh, Casey, I'm not interested in this hooey. Good grief, will you finish? There's more. In cooking up a stew about a certain type of racket now being worked, jump in blue blazes. It's about the parking racket. That's what I read, too. I couldn't believe it, but look. Look at the signature. Signature? Well, I'll be a first cousin to an animal trainer. It signed the Green Hornet. That's what I thought. The Green Hornet. That crew's got a sense of humor. Sending it to the Hints for Housewives column. Well, it's the first time anything sensational came to this column since that cook sent in a recipe for hot buttered scones. Never mind the banter. This is big. Where are you going? Larry! Hey, Larry! Yeah. Take your elbows off that desk and come in here. Casey, get on the phone call the studio. What for? Get them! Tell him I want a sap made of this hornet letter. Half tone for the front page. Right. Give me the dark room operator. What's the four star special, Chief? Get in here and close that door. We got a note from the Green Hornet. Huh? Holy mackerel. The door. What about? What did it say? Here. Read proof on it yourself. Oh, dark room. Send a boy to the city desk. There's a rush job on a snapshot, and Gunning is waiting. Well, is that something? Great guns. According to this, the Hornet's coming right out and saying he's going to take that racket away from Bleecker. One crook fights another. That's going into print in the Sentinel. Are you sure this is on the level, Gunnigan? It hasn't got a Hornet seal. Gosh, that's a thought. Yeah, why isn't Reed here? He's an authority on the Hornet notes. He'd check the paper it's written on. I don't know where he is. Holy cow, Gunnigan. Guess what? Expert, this is no telephone booth. Get back. <coughs> Reader. Glad you're here. Boss, take a look at this. We run into more excitement, it seems. More? It, there can't be more. 
What this guy's got to show you is more exciting than anything you got, Gunnigan. What guy? Who is he? His name's Schaefer. He runs a parking lot across from the Sentinel building. A parking lot? Well, that's just what we were talking about. He got a threatening letter. What? Yeah, he's going to get dough from me or else. Now, wait a minute. One thing at a time. Read. We got a letter, too. I'm telling you, it can't be as important as this, Gunnigan. Why, golly, Schaefer got a threat from the Green Hornet. So what? The letter we got... What? What's that? The, the, the Green Hornet? Yes, Gunnigan. Axford and I got into the parking lot when he was looking it over. Well, what are y'all staring at us for? Because your big lug, this letter is from the same writer. Holy crow! The Hornet? You must have mailed them both at once, boss. Hey, let me see that. I'll compare them. Yeah, there's no doubt, Gunnigan. These are identical. Same paper. The Hornet? I'm as certain as... as if I had written these myself. Oh, that's bad business, Mr. Reed. I've been standing off bleaker, but now if the Hornet stepped in, I'll be given from two racketeers. You keep your chin up, Schaefer. When the Sentinel prints this and the news gets around, Bleaker and the Hornet may battle it out just long enough for the cops to pick up the remains. Sentinel Hornet X-ray! Green Hornet steps in on parking lot order! Green all up on it! Racket threatened as the Sentinel! Brett Reed returned to his apartment that evening and spoke to Cato, his valet and the only living man to know him as the Green Hornet. Cato. Cato. Yes, Mr. Brett. The Sentinel's out in the street with the two Green Hornet notes I wrote. It's time for us to get moving. You want a black beauty? The car and the mask, too. I'll need the gas gun as well. Bleaker is reading the Sentinel himself, like everyone else in town. We've got to be ready for him. <laughs> Don't shout your lungs off me. I already saw the sun with them two green hornet notes. That guy's got a nerve. You gonna let him step in? I was just talking to Hackley. You want the car? The car, sure. I want you and Dirk to bring your guns. We're going to be ready for the green hornet. A lot depends on how Schaefer reacts, Cato. He's almost at the end of his rope. He can't hold out against those racketeers much longer. He's a brave man. Yeah, he's taken a lot from those rats already. Cars smashed, tires ripped open. His business is practically sunk. That is true. Unless I'm mistaken, Bleaker's going to make it even tougher now that he believes the Green Hornet is muscling in on his territory. I see. Open the sliding panel, Cato. We're going to the hiding place of the Black Beauty. Where are you going? Bleaker is just the kind of gorilla to make sure that Schaefer doesn't slip out from under him now. He wants whatever extortion money Schaefer is paying out for himself. And it's up to the Green Hornet to stop him. It all depends on that mug, Schaefer. We've been putting enough pressure on him to make him ready to crack wide open. His business is shot already. He can't keep holding out. He's got plenty of what it takes. He's due to crack. But get this. Schaefer's paying us, not the Hornet. Nobody's muscling in on us. We better get moving. Where's the car? In the garage, waiting. Okay. Open the door, mate. Where are you going, Bleaker? Me and the boys are paying a little social call on Schaefer. Got the car all ready, boss. All right. Get in. Take the wheel, Dirk. You better be careful when you get to Schaefer's parking lot, Bleaker. The cops can read the papers, too. Better wait until it's clear for us to go in and talk to him, mate. Get going, Dirk. We're going to stop that crook that calls himself the Green Hornet. As Bleaker's car swung into the street and turned toward Schaefer's parking lot, a huge sleek black car started along behind them. It was the car of the Green Hornet. Curtain falls on the first act of our Green Hornet adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a moment.
Now to continue our story. In the Black Beauty, Britt, Reed, and Cato trailed the racketeer's car until they were certain Bleeker was heading for Schaefer's parking lot. Keep watching them, Cato. If they turn that next corner, there won't be any doubt about where they're going. Yes, sir. Fortunately for us, it's too late for there'll be much traffic on the streets. Otherwise, we might be running constant risk of being recognized as the Green Hornet. Mr. Britt. What is it? The car. Oh, yes, Bleeker. He's turned the corner, Cato, heading for Schaefer's lot. Quick, turn in this alley. But, Mr. Do what I say. Swing the Black Beauty in here. Hurry before we're past it. Good enough. I don't understand. Why we didn't continue after them? Yes, but... Those three crooks were desperate men, Cato. They're sure to be heavily armed. If the Green Hornet walked in on them, we'd run into a hail of lead. I'll wait here a few minutes to give them time to get to where they're going. I'm going into that drugstore to make a phone call. And I want to be certain Bleeker is there when that phone rings. <laughs> Schaefer talking to a cop. <laughs> Come on. Who's going to take care of the cop, Leaker? I'll handle him. This way. We can get around behind the shack he uses for an office and slip up on him before they know it. They're standing right next to the door. Take care of that cop before he spots us, Dirk. I don't want any interference when we start talking to Schaefer. The tap over the head will take care of him. Uh, take it easy now. Here's the shack. Head around this way so we'll come right up behind him. Ain't nothing happened yet, Schaefer. And there won't be nothing. You've got police protection now. Protection? Why don't you get those racketeers? We'll get them. We need proof, that's all. Bleaker. And now the Green Hornet. Better make one slip and we'll pick him up so fast you won't see him for the dust. Meantime, my business is ruined. You're okay now. I got that. Take him. Look out. What the? No, you don't, copper. Oh, you come. Inside, Schaefer. Oh. You hit him with a blackjack. I saw it. Inside. What do you want? Let me do a job on him, boss. Keep an eye on that cop. I don't want him coming to and identifying us. Okay, please. You can't shut me up. I'll tell the police. As long as the cop didn't see us, you can blab all you like. It's your word against ours, Schaefer. That ain't worth talking about. What are you after? But we've been after all along since we started giving your place a works. Extortion money. I won't pay. You're a tough nut, but we can crack you. Or maybe you got a reason. Huh? Reason? Don't play dumb. Are you already paying off? No. Maybe you got the hornet behind you. I don't deal with crooks. Any crooks. If you figure paying the hornet will keep us away, get it out of your head. We're controlling the parking lots, and the hornet ain't stopping us. Where is he? I don't know. I never saw him. We read the Sentinel. You got a note from him. Where is he? I tell you, I don't know. Sure, I got the note, but I didn't see him. You're paying us and nobody else, see? Uh, the phone... Get I... away from that. I'll answer it. Keep your gun on him, Hackley. Right. Hello, Schaefer parking lot. Let me speak to Schaefer. Uh, who wants him? This is the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet? What? Don't move. Green Hornet, huh? I, uh, I got your note. Is this Schaefer? Yeah, yeah, this is Schaefer talking. Uh, you calling about the note? When are you going to pay up, Schaefer? Pay up? Well... Don't stall. You agreed already. Oh, so I agreed to pay you, did Don't I? Don't back out. No, no, I ain't backing down. Sure, I'll, I'll pay you, Sure. Uh, when are you coming around to collect? Sometime this week. Okay, Hornet, I'll, I'll pay you. I'll have the dough for you. When? When? Uh, how about tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night, uh, say around midnight. How's that? I'll be there, Schaefer. Okay, Hornet. Tomorrow night. <laughs> He's coming here, Bleacher. Tomorrow night? It was a Hornet, Hackley. <laughs> he took me for Schaefer. So you was planning on paying the Hornet off, huh, Schaefer? I'm not paying anyone. The Hornet's coming here tomorrow, midnight. You have the dough ready for him, Schaefer, like you said you I were. tell you I'm not paying it. I was just talking to him. Hey, boss. Yeah? If we tell the cops, they can make a pinch. The Hornet? Sure, he's too here. The cops can nab him like that. It'll get him out of the way for a long time. Listen, Hackley. The Hornet's a crook and so are we. Everybody knows that. When I tell you to talk, I'll tell you, Schaefer. We're not telling the cops, Hackley. But we got This is our job, taking care of rats who try to cut in. We look after that baby ourselves. Yeah, I guess that's the regular way. It is. We'll be here and Schaefer ain't blabbing a word to nobody. No? You ain't got the nerve, Schaefer. I thought you were tough. But from what the Hornet said over the phone, it was him behind you that was giving you backbone. Sure. Otherwise, Schaefer would have folded up like the rest of them parking lot owners when we put the pressure on. Yeah. Schaefer... You keep your mouth shut. Because you know if you don't, we'll shut it for good. And if we don't, the Hornet will. So you're playing ball with our team, see? The Hornet's coming here tomorrow night. 
and we'll be around to meet him with a dose of lead. Miss Kate, where's Reed? Well, he left about an hour ago, Gunnigan. Or where? I don't know. Well, get him. Try his apartment. Try every place. I already have, but it's no soap, Gunnigan. I wanted to get in touch with him on another matter, and I couldn't locate him. He's missing something. Don't tell me it's another Hornet note. More than a note this time, Casey. Good grief. You mean they got the Hornet? Yep. Well, that is practically. When? About seven hours from now. They're brushing out a cell at headquarters already. Seven hours. I thought it was in the past, not the future. Casey, by the time tomorrow's Sentinel comes out, it will be over. The Green Hornet will be a crook with a past. And no future. There isn't much future in bars. Bars my foot. That baby will get the chair. Where are they going to pick him up? Right across the street. What? Right there. Shaver's parking lot, midnight tonight. But, but how do the police know? For a very good reason, Casey. The Shaver told them. Shaver himself? Mm, in person. Apparently, that guy has more fight than the Hornet and those other rats gave him credit for. They took it for granted he'd be too scared to spill. But they took it wrong. They... I thought you said it was the Hornet. Did I forget to mention Bleaker? What? Bleaker, too? The works, Casey. Will this make a headline for the public gaze? I might try an experiment on this yarn. Slap the headline that new red ink instead of black. Got it all settled already, haven't you? By gravy, Casey. You don't seem elated. Wake up! The Green Hornet's going to be captured. Yes, I can see that, and... Frankly, I'm a little bit sorry. Oh, you dames. You think he's a knight in armor. No, in a mask. Honestly, he's not as bad as he's painted. No, he's worse. Hey, Gunnigan, you've been looking for me. I'll say I have, Laurie. Where have you been? Downstairs in a place... Never mind, never mind, I know. You have an assignment tonight. Tonight? I was going to the fights. Throw the tickets in the ash can. This assignment is a racketeer roundup. Bleaker? Not only Bleaker, my little news hound. The big bug as well. Huh? The Will of the Wisp, known as the Green Hornet. Holy mackerel, Chief. When? Where? You'll get the details later. Just be at Shaver's parking lot with the police tonight. Will I? This is better than any fight. Looks like the finish of the Hornet. Where'd you get the tip, Gunnigan? From Axford. He was at headquarters with his pile Doyle when Shaver came in. Axford? Good grief, Gunnigan. That big lug couldn't get anything straight. He's always wrong. It's probably a month from tonight. Schaefer never said anything, and besides, it wasn't the Green Hornet in the first place. Sure, that's how Axford's tips always turn out. This time, it's accurate. I wouldn't bet a plug nickel on anything that guy... Lowry, I'm not a fool. I know how Axford is, so I spoke to Doyle myself. This tip is authentic, the real McCoy. Well, that makes a difference. It does, plenty. We'll hold page one open. Gosh, I wish I could get in touch with Mr. Reed. He'd want to know about this. He'll read it in tomorrow's Sentinel. Reed's plain out of luck, Casey. But what's the difference? He'll still be able to pay the reward for the capture of the Hornet. Now get going, Lowry. Over to police headquarters. I'm on my horse. Safer's parking lot, midnight. I'll be there. No, there's no sign of anything yet. It's only 10 o'clock. What time are you cops going to show up? Yeah. Yeah, they said they'd be here around 12, but you better go over early. Huh? Be here before midnight? Okay, Sergeant, so long as you grab those crooks. Uh, sounds sensible. Cops not wanting to get here too soon in case Bleeker and the Hornet have someone watching. I want you, Schaefer. You! Get outside. You said 12 o'clock. Do as I say. Don't try anything like come out with the man out there with a gun on you. Yeah, I see him. Another man with a mask. Keep him there. I'll be out in a moment. Closing the door of the shack, Britt Reed took down the one window shade in the small office and replaced it with another he had prepared. And he shifted the desk lamp around. A few moments later... All right. Get back inside, Schaefer. You put out the lights. I don't want you making any phone calls between now and midnight. A gun. I'll take it. Yes, you... I, I can't breathe. I can't... All right. To the Black Beauty. It's all ready, Mr. Britt. I fixed the window shade, Cato. I didn't like the gassing, but it was necessary for our plan. We're coming back? According to the way you prepared the gas, Schaefer should be unconscious till around midnight. When he recovers, he'll put on the lights. By that time, Bleaker and his rats will be here. We come back? Yeah, the Green Hornet will be here at midnight, Cato. But not in person. We got all the men placed around the parking lot. But where's Schaefer? Was he going to be here? Golly, that's what he said, Lowry. But there ain't no lights, not even in the shack. Almost twelve. 
Come on, we'll go in. Oh. Holy crow, what's that? Turn on the light. Schaefer, what happened? I'm all right. The green hornet. Sugar of snakes, was he here already? He asked me and left. What time is it? It's almost 12. Hey, we better get out of here with the cops. Right, come on. You stand right here outside the door where you told them crooks you would be. We'll have you covered. Okay. Remember, the cops want to catch the hornet as well as Baker. Yeah, I got it. Car coming. Stay here, Schaefer. We'll be here within the shop. Hey, Lodi, I just noticed oh, something. Stay here, you lug. Come on, out. back out of sight. Come on, Dirk. Hadley. Who? Who's that? Okay, Schaefer. Is a hornet here yet? He was here. Now he's gone. What? So you called him after we left. Oh, I didn't. Oh, then he'll be back, huh? I guess so. Yeah, we'll get him. He ain't cutting in on us. But right now, end over that dough. Wait a minute. I, we I... wrecked your cars a couple of times already, Schaefer. Pay for protection or we'll do our final job. Hey, boss. Pay that dough you got for the hornet. You'll take a him when he shows up. Boss, it's a hornet. Huh? I didn't hear nothing. Sure, he's been here all the time. What? Look there, boss. See the lighted window of the office shack? What the? There's a shadow. You can see the profile of the mask. He's holding a gun. Listening, huh? Yeah. He don't know the light makes his shadow a perfect target. Well, what are you waiting for? Blast him to bits. Right through the window. That does it. Hey, he ain't falling down. He's got to. I caught him square. I can see the bullet holes in the window shade. Come on inside and we'll finish him. You too, Schaefer. Stick him up. Well, I'll be a Dutch uncle. Look at that. What the? The cops. We're trapped. Make a break for it. Hey, where are you? Drop that gun. Take it. No, no, don't hit me. You, you got us. Stand to the right, you rat. We heard what you said to Schaefer. Get moving. Take these crooks to the jug. Okay, Sarge. Come on. Right on, Sarge. Hey, what about the Hornet? I heard those crooks say he was in here. Yeah, I saw him in the window. But where's he gone? There wasn't no one here when Bleeker shoved me in. Hey, Lodi. Holy crow, will you look at this window shade? Window shade? Axford, you gone bats? Here, you can see for yourself. I tried to tell you I seen it from the outside, but you yanked me away. Holy mackerel. A paper cut out of the hornet pasted on the window shade. You must have done that earlier. That's what Bleeker shot at from outside. Blast it, I don't know how, but the hornet must have got suspicious. Sugar and snakes, Lowry. We better give gun and get the story. But golly, what kind of story is it when we ain't not the green hornet? <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Green Hornet Incorporated. The situations and characters depicted in this drama are fictitious. Any similarity to actual persons or events of the past or present is coincidental. Field and Farrington speaking. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. Thank you.